Jackson County Medical Examiner takes to the stand as day four of the Susan Monica trial focuses on the gruesome crime scene. Yeah, Monica is accused of killing two handymen on her Rogue River area property and feeding them to her pigs. As we've done all week, we again want to warn you certain elements of this trial are graphic. NBC5's Roma Vivacencio is live at the Jackson County Circuit Courthouse with the very latest. Roma. Kyle, the medical examiner, one of several witnesses to take the stand today. As the first week of this trial wraps up, all of them were investigators in the initial beginning of this murder investigation. And that investigation led one captain to find human remains on the property. And today, some of that information was too much for Susan Monica to watch. Video taken on January 10th, 2014 by Jackson County Sheriff's Captain Nathan Sickler shows the day he searched Susan Monica's property and found something terrifying, human remains. It's been possibly human. That human bone, one of Robert Haney's legs. Haney's one of the two handymen Susan Monica is accused of killing and feeding to her pigs at her Rogue River ranch. The discovery of Haney's bone, the focal point of the early investigation, which led investigators to find the second set of bones, those of Stephen Delacino. Day four of this double murder trial featured more video interview and new witnesses like Captain Sickler, other Jackson County Sheriff's deputies and a fraud investigator took the stand. But it was Eric Fox, the deputy medical examiner, whose testimony shook the courtroom. I found his remains in there. They were secreted or hidden in behind this storage area. Fox went over horrific details of finding the rest of Haney's bones near one of Monica's pig pens. Monica then got emotional watching the conversation about her pigs. In this case, there seemed to be a just a general lack of taking responsibility. Fox testified that they were able to identify Haney through a finger. Delacino was ID'd by matching his bones with his brothers. Objection and move to strike. Defense attorneys cross-examined Sickler and Fox, but one day after Monica questioned the lead investigator, she was absent from the podium today. Coming up in week two of the trial, Robert Haney's sons are expected to take the stand. Plus, a woman who used to live on Susan Monica's property is also scheduled to take the stand. That woman did not show.